Hey guys, what is up? My name is Thomas Spark, and today we are checking out NordVPN. More specifically, we're talking about some of the problems people are having with NordVPN lately. Are there any alternatives out there to use that are better? And um, are there any cheaper, faster, um, more streaming friendly VPNs? So that's what we're going to be talking about today. Um, so if you're using NordVPN, um, you might be happy with it, you might not. Anyways, NordVPN, um, a lot of people like it for one reason or another. They are quite expensive per month. It's around $12. Now you have $83 for one year, and of course, you know, a bigger savings if you, they have sometimes these, you know, three years deals. Um, but it looks like uh, right now, so yeah, so two years, $100, $50 per year. Um, still pretty expensive. Anyways, guys, NordVPN, it kind of makes its mark on the VPN space by having tons of servers and having six devices simultaneous, 30 day money back guarantee, um, you know, no logs. But is it really that good? Um, let's check out what some people are saying. This person saying, Amazon Prime not working, says not available in your location. This was only four months ago. This person says, no VPN service are being blocked by Amazon services. They know about it, but I haven't found an answer yet. This person is saying that he's having trouble getting NordVPN to work with Netflix, BBC iPlayer, Hulu, Popcorn Time, Hotstar, Amazon. So, and another person just even a month ago saying Amazon not working with NordVPN for a while. This person uh, saying that he has tried all different sorts of servers. Um, doesn't seem that Amazon or Hulu work with NordVPN. So if you're paying $12, you know, $90 a year, and you're getting these commitment plans, you should expect that NordVPN is gonna work, uh, right? So what is going on? So guys, what can you really do if you're not happy with NordVPN? You might be thinking, well, I've already signed up for this three-year commitment. I'm kind of stuck with it. Um, maybe there aren't any better options out there, but there are some good options out there. I've even made a video on how to get a free month to paid VPN that is gonna work with all these services. Now, this VPN is called TorGuard VPN. A lot of people are kind of confused about the pricing model with TorGuard because it's not as cut and dry, just not one simply one simple monthly price, but it is actually gonna end up cheaper. With TorGuard, you're gonna be able to buy a dedicated or residential IP, um, plus the subscription um, for around $9 a month if you're starting out with that one month model. If you go for the yearly, you're gonna get $60. But what is cool about the dedicated and residential IPs is that essentially you're having unique IPs that can't get blacklisted or blocked by Amazon, Hulu, Netflix, stuff like that. So Torrid is pretty much a really good alternative to NordVPN. You haven't heard of it. Um, I would recommend checking it out. They have a cool promo going on that if you've signed up with a, a long-term commitment, like with NordVPN, you can actually get some of your money back through prorated router or something like that. Not only that, if you show them you canceled your VPN subscription, you can actually get a month free. Pretty cool, right? Anyway, guys, just a little bit of a solution, alternative to some of the problems I've been seeing lately. Um, go ahead and check it out down in the link down below if you want to check out Torvard and per, uh, support the channel through purchasing it. Um, anyways, guys, I'll see you again on the next video.